billionaires, they're not very much like us. Something happens when you arrive at a specific degree of riches. The planes become private. The condos become penthouses. What's more, the gatherings get genuine awe-inspiring genuine quick. Here are the mystery parties extremely rich people don't believe you should be aware of. In the hanky-panky filled gatherings of Silicon Valley, supper starts things out, generally ready by the host, to stay away from according to cooks and cleaners. Web-based entertainment is totally prohibited, for clear reasons. Then, at that point, the medications emerge. MDMA is by all accounts the top decision, despite the fact that it's a long way from the main contribution. The visitors sever into gatherings of two, three, or more, as a rule for nestle puddles, a charming method for depicting a pack of grabbing moguls and very rich people. From that point things get truly freaky. The for the most part male fat cats of Silicon Valley host these medication-powered love gatherings on the customary, acquiring a group of young ladies from any place they can get their hands on them. What's more, get their hands on them they do, frequently with their spouses and sweethearts right adjacent to them. These men will generally be the affluent moguls behind the absolute greatest brands on the planet. As Emily Chang, writer of the book Protopia, depicts it, they like to regard these gatherings as augmentations of their reality-changing proficient ways of thinking by upsetting customs in their confidential lives. Eventually, that implies a boatload of hookups in confidential houses, domains, and yachts the world over. You won't find a ton of Carvel frozen yogurt cake at a very rich person's birthday celebration. Indeed, even Jay-Z and Bayance dropped $200,000 on their little girl Blue Ivy's most memorable birthday. Money manager Ronald Perelman likes to praise his on a 188-foot yacht in the warm waters of St. Bart's, frequently flying in renowned people like Barry Manilow to sing him cheerful birthday. Retail magnate Philip Green once surprised 100 of his companions with the latest possible moment outing to the Maldives for his 55th. What's more, that isn't anything contrasted with Joe Lowe, the Malaysian tycoon who transformed his 31st birthday into the greatest slam Las Vegas had at any point seen, despite the fact that nobody was very certain what his identity was. Lowe fabricated what resembled an airplane storage on an empty plot of land and afterward topped it off with a portion of the world's greatest stars. Leonardo DiCaprio, Kanye West, and Kim Kardashian were there, alongside a Ferris wheel, merry-go-round, bizarre trampoline, and stogie relax. Jamie Foxx facilitated, with exhibitions by Britney Spears, Caillou Tip, and Chris Brown. To end the evening, a Goliath Firecrackers show detonated over the Nevada desert. Henry Nicholas, the organizer behind the tech organization Broadcom, transformed a stockroom in California into an endless grown-up dream room. The individual joy cushion was apparently loaded to the edge with cocaine, meth, and happiness, alongside state-of-the-art innovation, making it a definitive spot to hang with his companions in an unending turn of women of the evening. What's more, when that wasn't sufficient, Nicholas purportedly recruited a development group to interface the spot to his home through underground ways secretly. This shouldn't come as a shock to the people who have a ton of insight into him. He used to furtively spike his partner's beverages with delight, and he once partook in such a lot of weed on his confidential plane that the pilot had to put on a breathing device. Tragically, basically for Nicholas, everything came tumbling down when he was captured for his Caligula-esque way of life, alongside a clothing rundown of protection's extortion. He was cleared of all charges, however his rap sheet actually is definitely not an extraordinary search for him. The Cannes Film Festival is a great deal of things, from a captivating party to a beyond ludicrous career conference. Hollywood heavyweights cut arrangements and socialize with their number one famous actors. Be that as it may, for the functioning young ladies who fly in, it's somewhat of a goldmine. Large number of ladies run to the fest consistently, from very good quality call young ladies charging in the large numbers to prostitutes carrying out their specialty for 50 bucks. Yet, track down the right John, and you can become wildly successful. A portion of the ladies have been supposedly known to make $40,000 per night. As per a Lebanese financial specialist who portrayed the scene to The Hollywood Reporter, there are around 30 or 40 extravagance yachts in the Sound during the celebration every year. Each boat is loaded up with around 10 ladies, in addition to medications and liquor. Furthermore, evidently this has all been going for the beyond 60 years. The 2012 Kappa Beta Phi Supper, a mystery get-together of Wall Street sovereignty, started with the location. The supper was planned as a super-elite monetary local area crew at the beginning of the Great Depression. Kevin Roos, writer of the book Young Money, depicted it as a kind of one-percenters friars club.
It's an opportunity for probably the most extravagant men on the planet to close the entryways and set free. It could be the main spot you can see strict tycoons perform chauvinist and homophobic plays and sing faltering tune spoofs about how rich they are. As Roos put it, Roos slipped into the 2012 merriments, and when he was found, in all honesty, Wilbur Ross went about as a limited bouncer and hauled him out. The dark tie supper isn't so much for intrusive eyes. It seems like something Occupy Wall Street would design on the off chance that they believed that individuals should detest brokers significantly more. Burning Man might be brimming with trust reserve children and tycoons, yet it's constantly made a special effort to disregard pompous indications of its own riches. Not so for further future, the branch off celebration intended for and by the super well off. If you for a long time had any desire to be a burner yet in addition approach first rate lavender lats, this is the most ideal spot for you. Its site records brazen extravagance as one of its essential objectives, and its visitors will not be disheartened. Past the VIP fencing sit airstreams and lunar palaces going for great many dollars each evening, frequently completely set up with individual valets and confidential culinary specialists. In the event that that is not sufficient, Nobu offers $250 a seat suppers, or you can simply participate in something many refer to as a smirching air purifying. Saline and nutrient bondings are accessible, and there's a lager and foie gras torchon tasting. Wearing the steampunk futurism style that is the authority stylish of the celebration, business visionaries and tech extremely rich people blend, cutting arrangements between health boards. So let the burners eat cake, this is where the strong come to play. As Mel Brooks once said, it's great to be the ruler. In Saudi Arabia, being one of the realm's 10,000 sovereigns, loaded and an absence of worry for their family's severe rules is great. For what other reason could a profoundly strict religious government look the alternate way as its regal class has wanton gatherings, overstepping each regulation in the books? One Saudi ruler named Faisal is a second-level trainee sovereign, which is similarly distant from the lofty position as you can get, however he actually partakes in every one of the advantages and honors of princehood. His legendary 2009 Halloween party, whose subtleties were uncovered in a released conciliatory link, is as yet all the rage. Liquor was ample at the party's bar, in spite of being disallowed by Saudi regulation and custom. There were likewise a lot of working young ladies among the visitors, which is supposedly normal at such gatherings. A list of people to attend figured out who made it inside the select undertaking. The scene looked like a club, with liquor, moving, a DJ at the turntables, and visitors in ensemble. It's great that Saudi Arabia just lifted its prohibition on female drivers so that next time Prince Faisal can welcome much more single women. As per a representative for Bohemian Grove, the secretive yearly retreat of political power players in Northern California, the club is just an opportunity to share an energy for the outside, music, and theater. But on the other hand, this is where the early making arrangements for the Manhattan Project occurred, so it probably won't be all natural air and camp melodies. No untouchables truly know for specific what this spot truly is, however when previous President Bill Clinton was gotten some information about it, he said, that is where that multitude of rich Republicans go out and stand stripped against redwood trees, right? Spy magazine journalist Philip Weiss figured out how to slip into Bohemian Grove back in 1989 and afterward covered the small bunch of rules he experienced. Fundamentally, they were, don't carry on with work, don't pee on the trees, and forever be smashed. However, just the last rule was totally authorized. Inside the campsites, he found influential men settling on strong choices over extensive measures of liquor. In one prominent piece of Bohemian Grove history, in the late spring of 1968, Ronald Reagan purportedly consented not to essential Richard Nixon as the two blended there. At the 2018 President Club charity dinner at London's Dorchester Hotel, host Johnny Gould. 